Howdy, Wilbur. What do you think of my new burglar-proof mailbox? What in tarnation's it for? Sure nobody can read other people's mail. <laughs> Don't seem very burglar-proof to me. Oh. Just open the door and try and take that letter out. A sudden glimpse of the time when I was a kid. While science makes technological breakthrough after technological breakthrough, one area, perhaps with the exception of Doctor Who, still seems impossible. Time travel. Time and space are beyond human conception. We're always fighting time, trying to beat time. We've never got enough time. And yet time is a dimension, like space, like distance. We can measure distance. We can move through space. Now, we can certainly measure time. But we can't move through it the way that we move through space, even though Albert Einstein told us, with his theory of relativity, that we ought to be able to. Many scientists have tried to prove that Einstein was wrong. But in spite of the paradoxes, when scientists try to prove that time travel is impossible, using Einstein's equations, they find they can't. The trouble with time travel is it causes paradoxes. If a building travelled backwards in time, it might accidentally land on top of my grandfather before my father was born. Therefore, my father wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't exist. I want all of you in the audience to feel free to ask questions at any time during the discussion. But here's the most amazing news from California. Scientists there have decided that time machines already exist. You've already heard of these time machines. They're out in space and they're called black holes. Who are you and what are you doing up here? But what is a black hole? How do you make one? Where do they come from? It's all to do with what Einstein taught us about space and time being one thing, space-time. Space-time's everything out there in the universe. And all the material things, the stars and planets, and you and me, make little dents in the structure of space-time, like dents in a stretched rubber sheet. If you get enough mass gathered together in one place, it breaks right through that rubber sheet of space-time, and it makes a black hole. This is a model of a black hole, and everybody knows what happens if you go too close to one. The magnet was so strong, it will pull a shirt right off your back. What's more, every black hole has two ends. And what goes in must come out. So if you can find the other end of a black hole, you're well on your way to building a time machine. Thanks ever so much, Professor. You've helped me more than you realize. It may sound like science fiction, but all this stuff about black holes and time travel is actually sober scientific fact. All we lack is the technology. After all, 50 years ago, we lacked the technology to build artificial satellites. So I reckon that all we need before we have a working time machine is a little more time. Time marches on. remarkable thing I've ever seen.